right, here we go with the constant rate of change with me, Mr. Hain. So our central question for this video is, how do I know if a table or graph show a proportional or linear relationship? And how do I find the rate of change? Let's dive right in. All right, cool. Let's talk about Marcus and his music. So the table at the top actually shows Marcus that can download two songs from the internet each minute. So that's shown in the table that we have right here. All right, so what does this mean? That means on the graph, I can actually start plotting points. So on the x-axis, I got time. And on the y-axis, of course, the number of songs. Using each of these like ordered pairs, I know that 0, 0 is here. The next minute is 1 minute, and I know that's at 2. And if I keep on going, I can put, plot the points and connect the dots, and I have a line. Now, there are several things that you can see here that are important. First, that gr the graph or the line is linear. It is straight. What does that mean? That means that the relationship is proportional. And if the relationship is proportional, the rate of change is actually constant. This is really important. So um, let's uh, get into the most complicated example that I can possibly make up right here. All right, so does this table show a linear relationship? So for part B, we're looking at the balance in an account after several transactions, and that's shown in the table below. Is the relationship between the balance and the number of transactions linear? And if so, find the constant rate of change. And I know what you're doing. You're looking at the screen, you're going like, yo, Mr. Hain, there is no graph. So what do we gotta do? We gotta take a look at the number of transactions. And if I look at the red um, loops coming, coming, kind of coming down on the left-hand side, I see that each one of those is adding three. And if I look at the blue loops coming down on the right-hand side of the, uh, of the table, each one of those is subtracting 30. This, of course, means several important things. The first thing is, in red, the change in X and Y are constant. We see this is plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. And the change in Y, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Y, which is uh, negative 30, negative 30, negative 30. Boom! That's the green stuff. That little triangle symbol means a change in Y. And the triangle symbol here means a change in X. Of course, that's kind of like a slope, which means it is negative 30 over 3, which is a division problem, which equals negative 10. So... Because the, the change in X and Y is constant, then that graph shows a linear relationship. It's $10 less each day. And the table is proportional because the rate of change is constant. And if it's proportional, it's linear. And if it's linear, it's proportional. Shabu. All right, so go ahead and do example C and D. Pause the video. There are no answers. I'll be here when you get back. Let's look at example E. There's going to be nothing actually shown on this slide except for what you see right now. So the amount of babysitter charges is shown below in the table. Is the relationship between the number of hours and the amount charged linear? You know what we got to check. And if so, find the constant rate of change. If not, explain your reasoning. Boom! We're going to do this the exact same way we did example B. So uh, go ahead and take a look. Pause the video if you need to. And come back to babysitter charges and do this uh, problem the exact same way. Pause the video and I'll be here when you get back. We're back! All right, how do I know if it's proportional? From a table, if the amount the Y value changes is blank. And the amount the X value changes is the same word blank. Then the blank of blank is blank! And if the blank of blank is blank, it is proportional. Go back in the video, guys. The answers are all there. Check it out. From a graph, how do I know if it is proportional? If the graph is blank or straight. Then the relationship is blank and the blank of blank is blank. All right, cool. So, like, guys, look back in the video. It's there. Like, seriously. Pause the video. Write this down in your notes. The answers are all right there. Make sure to write your summary if you are in my class. Make sure your table of contents is updated. And until next time, people, keep doing the math.